Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of the basic module in network security. Here I will be giving you a short introduction to FastFlux. But before we start with FastFlux, I will show you how DNS works, because that's really an important concept to understand before we can start talking about um, FastFlux. So when, I, when machines are commu uh, communicating uh, with each other over the internet, what they really use is IP addresses. So when you have uh, an address that you want to look up in a browser, for example, google.com, in order to contact the server, you really need, need to know what is the IP address of google.com. And for this, we have the DNS system. So it works the following way, that when you and your computer, and I made the figure myself, so when you and your computer write google.com, what you do first of all is that you send a, re a request to a DNS server um, asking what is the IP address of google.com and you get a reply back which is in, in terms of an IP address so in this case the IP address is 130.225.50.23 and then based on that reply you can send an HTTP request to google.com and then send it to that IP address and when you then send your request to that IP address you get the reply back with the web page that you want to see so as you can see, DNS is quite crucial in the way the internet works, not only for web browsing, but for all kind of activities where we use domain names, which are made out of real names, which are easy to remember. So let us look at how FastFlux works. So the idea behind it is that the bot master uh, not only has control of the zombie, but also has control of a DNS server. And that is what we see in the figure here. So first of all, when the client, uh, that he might have hard-coded a number of domains or might be able to auto-generate uh, domain names which fit with something that the botmaster is taking control of. So he might be asked uh, some kind of uh, domain um, that could be a domain with a real name, but very often it would be some kind of randomly generated domain name that he is asking then the DNS server to resolve. But since the DNS server is also controlled by the botmaster, he get an IP address back, which is then directing him to first of all a proxy machine, and then uh, could be more proxy machines, but at the, at the end of the day, the malicious server. So what is happening is that you can send a, re a request for an IP address, and you will get, um, get an IP address often with a very short time to live, or a number of IP addresses, which are really IP addresses of proxy bots, uh, who are then directing you to the command and control server. But uh, this, uh, this, um, in this DNS response, when the time to live is very low, you will ask again and again about the, the addresses and you will be sent to different kind of machines all the time. So the fast flux ensures that whatever you are doing, um, that you will be, you, that, yeah, that you can change the, the, um, the proxy or that you can change the malicious server with very short intervals. If you want to know more about this topic, I can recommend that you search for the concepts which are called uh, single flux, double flux, and domain flux, uh, which are more advanced uh, concepts, but this was the first introduction. And based on this first introduction, please go ahead and take quiz number 10. Thank you.